Hey guys, Coach Kelly here, official trainer for I Love Lacrosse TV. So today, all the offensive players out there are going to be really excited for what I have for you today. It's three dodges that will make you unguardable. So one thing that I see a lot um, is that younger players and really a lot of like high school players in general, um, even the, the successful ones, don't really set the defender up. So you want to manipulate the defender in a way that's going to give you the highest percentage chance to score. So these three moves are, I mean, they're not super hard, but all the top players um, use them. One is the stutter stat, which is basically just change the direction, getting your defender a bite so that, you know, you're putting him away from where you want to go um, so you can get a high percentage shot. Number two is the stick or the head fake which I'll talk about you know, how un underutilized that is, but with a simple flick of your head or your hands, you can move the defender out of your way to give yourself a, a clear path to the goal. And number three is the alley dodge rollback, where, and you'll see when I explain it, but you're getting the defender to overcommit so that you can take the middle of the field, which is the highest percentage shot. So these three are really important. Add these to your game, and you'll see a huge, huge difference in how much you score. All right, guys, now we're going to get into our stutter step dodge. So, again, this is a great move so that you can really be unguardable if you master these moves. The stutter step, the whole point, I think change of direction when we dodge is very important. And I think that's lost on a lot of youth players and even inexperienced high school or experienced college guys. Some guys are so athletic, they don't have to use change of direction. The change of direction is huge. Just think Deion Sanders, right? So we're going to do the stutter step drill. Um, as you can see, when Troy stutter steps to me, I'm going to be playing defense. He's attacking my top side shoulder, right? So when we dodge, we want to take advantage of the point that the defender's trying to keep top side. So let's make them overplay us so we can get our hands free. So just watch. This is a stutter step move. Set. Good. Do it again. See how he slow plays it. Once I move my hip, hips, he separates. Let's try it again. Stutter. Good. Good. And that's a stutter step drill. Just if you can master that stutter step move, just another way to get your hands free. You can use it here when you're closer to the goal for a set shot, and you can use it on the run for uh, an alley dodge. All right, guys. So the next move, the next dodge we're going to talk about. It's going to help you be unguardable is a fake pass. It's head fake, stick fake, but you're faking like you're passing to your, to your teammate so you can dodge. I want everyone, because most of you guys have probably played basketball at some level, so just to think about when we play basketball, I always think of the inbound. If I gave you a basketball, you wouldn't even think about it. We would fake to move our defender and then pass around him, right? But in lacrosse, I, it's the most underutilized we, no one ever fakes, right? It's so important and it really, really works. You gotta, the, the defender is so, keep top side, keep top side. They're so jumpy. They're gonna bite, especially, you know, if you just wanna fake a pass. So watch the way Troy does it. He's gonna get me to try to think he's passing one, and get me to move my feet. So I'm, you know, like moving to protect top side and affect the pass. And then he's gonna separate and shoot, all right? All right, ready, Troy? Good. Do it again, really shallow your eyes and your head. Watch how little his stick actually moves. Good, nice job, bud. All right, guys, now we're going to get into the alley rollback into a set shot. So the whole point of this dodge is to get it in the defender to overplay the dodge. So you want to start in the middle of the field, right down the middle. And the point of it, you want to get the defender to overplay so you can roll back and improve your angle. So get a better angle on your shot before you let it fly. Notice real quick, one, the number of steps he uses when he, he rolls back into from when he rolls to his set shot, right? So you can improve this by using less and less steps, which Troy does very well, I think it's two steps. Um, try for three to four steps at the most and then keep working down. Also, notice how he follows his stick. Do not hang your stick. When you roll, the head of your stick, you should be able to see it. It should be in front of your face, all right? So just notice those two things. Let's get into it. Ready? Good. Good. Again. Set. Good. Good. Nice job. 
I hope you guys liked our latest video. If you want a free lacrosse training workout that will help you add 10 miles per hour to your shot, just click here or click the link in the description, enter in your email, and I will send it directly to your email. Don't forget to subscribe, like us, or leave a comment. Until next time, keep working.